Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life of Apollos. Happy to have you here as always. A pretty jam-packed episode tonight. We're going to jump right into it here in a moment. I'll be at brand new supercars for some of your favorite creators, brand new homesteads for others, and unfortunately, some pretty big online disputes between Daily Driven Exotics and Shmi. I think you guys know where this one is going. And as always, guys, if you appreciate the grind, uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to sub right now. Like the video. We love having you here. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. All right, first up tonight, guys, our main headline story of the evening. Uh, Daily Driven Exotics and Shmi uh, really haven't had the best of times over the last couple of months. Uh, we covered the highly publicized uh, drama between the both of them over gumball stickers. I want to say it was like a month or two ago at this particular point. Daily Driven Exotics video uh, right now has an absolutely incredible amount of views on it. That video has almost 900 100,000 views and the title, which I think has remained consistent since the day it was uploaded, uh, is Confronting Shmi 150 for Disrespecting Daily Driven Exotics and Gumball Livery. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, feel free to go check it out. We'll have a link for that in our description below. Uh, it basically looks like Daily Driven Exotics ambushing Shmi and sort of like confronting him on the spot with a camera in his face. Uh, and that, you know, when we saw that, especially considering the pinned comment on that, we thought something seemed just a little bit miss. Obviously that title is talking about, you know, how Shmi disrespected Daily Driven Exotics and confronting him. And then the pinned comment says, to be clear, there is no future drama. This issue ends here. We will collab together. And it's just a miscommunication. As creators, we can all accomplish more for our audiences by working together. Much love to our DDE fam. And that just seemed weird when I watched it initially. I was like, okay, that seems like a sort of a separate message from what you're doing in your title. Uh, but, you know, after that, we really didn't see that much more concerning this issue until one of Shmi's latest videos. So a couple days ago, Shmi uploaded a video called Valkyrie Steals the Show Uncovering LA's Hypercar Overload. Uh, basically shows him at the PFS, I think it's like Cars at Sunset or whatever it's called. Apologies if I didn't get that right. Um, but a lot of people notice that, you know, he's looking through all these crazy cars, talking about all of them, but he gets to a certain point in the video, we'll show you that right now, and he cuts out what looks to be Daily Driven Exotics car. Watch this. Which of course, is one I'm itching to get to drive at some point. Let's just take a very quick look at this. So you saw the clip right there. It definitely cuts away as soon as the Daily Driven Exotic vehicle uh, comes into frame and tons of people notice this. And that's where things got a little bit crazy because Shmi responded to tons of people asking about that particular cut in the comments below. Someone saying, you cut the DDE car perfectly and him responding saying, I learned how to cut things out of videos from them. Now I would imagine and I don't know for 100% certainty that he's referring to the Daily Driven Exotics video that we just previously mentioned, uh, possibly insinuating that they cut things out of there that maybe he said or they said during the video. But that was only the beginning of the comments left by Shmi, uh, some of which take aim at Daily Driven Exotics directly. Uh, someone saying, I can definitely see Shmi as beef with Daily Driven Exotics, didn't even talk about their car when it was shown, and cut it out quickly. I believe that was Damon's Lambo Rev he commented on as well, Shmi saying, of course I have beef with them. They've repeatedly lied to my face and their audience. I don't have respect for that. Uh, someone else saying, uh, peep the DDE car that Tim just skipped over entirely. I guess uh, Vehicle Virgins Parker is rubbing off on him since VV vowed to take down Daily Driven Exotics at any cost a few years ago. Shmi saying, I don't know much about their historical disputes either way. I only know how many people Daily Driven Exotics have treated badly and I don't have any respect for people like that. Uh, one of the longer comments someone's saying, uh, not sure what the beef is with Daily Driven Exotics, not sure why you're hitching up to vehicle virgins and absolutely ghosting, snubbing Daily Driven Exotics whilst in LA. Love what you do, Tim, but you're not in competition with DDE. They're a completely different channel content. Bury the hatchet. You were a twonk uh, to not have their gumball badging on your fleet. And you know that a rising tide lifts all boats. Their followers help you. And likewise, come on, Tim. And then Shmi gives a very long answer saying, to give you an extreme example of this type of comment, imagine you are accused of committing a crime that you didn't do, but the jury just take the story of the plaintiff, which happens to be someone who is very well known for encouraging false drama and fake stories. Could you imagine if the system considered that to be the truth immediately without question? Quite frankly, you've been lied to and misled through manipulated video and storylines, but if that's what you choose to believe, then good luck to you. One of his other responses uh, 
to a person saying, bro, you were clearly in the wrong in that situation. Now you're going to continue being petty. Shmi saying you are choosing to believe the words of Car YouTube's biggest drama queens and ignoring the fact that every story has two sides. Imagine society operating that way where you could just throw out an accusation and the person is instantly guilty. All I'm going to say is they've disrespected you by lying multiple times and it's sad if you choose to believe that. Some takeaways from this story. I think it's very difficult to know exactly what the truth is without uh, some sort of continuing version of it from either Daily German Exotics or Shmi. I'm curious about whether or not we're actually going to get something like that from either side moving on. Um, Daily German Exotics obviously had a massive video the first time they talked about this. Uh, but what's interesting is that, you know, Shmi, as far as I've seen over the many years that we've been doing what we do on our channel, uh, Shmi really stays out of almost all drama. Very rarely has Shmi ever been involved in anything like this, uh, nor publicly commented on this stuff like this in the past. So I would imagine uh, he feels extraordinarily strongly about the stuff that he's sort of putting out there as assertions against Daily Driven Exotics for him to make multiple public comments about it. So I guess I'd be curious, guys, uh, do you want to see any more about this from Shmi or Daily Driven Exotics? Uh, you know, with some of the bigger car events coming up, It'll be interesting to see if these two, uh, if Daily Driven Exotics and Shmi are in the same place at the same time moving forward and what that would actually look like. Uh, but very curious what you guys think about it. Uh, who do you think's in the right here? Who do you think's in the wrong? And have we heard the entire story so far? Additionally, guys, uh, you know, I, we had to cover the story. I had at least 50 to 100 messages about this in my Instagram inbox. When it gets to that particular level, it's very hard to ignore stuff like this. So it might seem a little bit weird to cover it, but this many were responses from someone that almost never talks publicly about any sort of drama or beef definitely had to do it. But I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Obviously, we don't have like uh, any sort of like concrete idea of what happened. I would imagine the people that really know what's going on are between Daily Driven Exotics and Shmi. But make up your own mind, guys, uh, based on what you've seen out there. Next up, guys, uh, we have some big news concerning Hoovy's Garage. Uh, some of his latest videos, starting off with this monster one. I bought a Circa 1890 farmstead and I'm transforming it into the ultimate car guy's paradise. Um, what is so weird about this, guys, is when I saw his thumbnail, I knew that I had actually looked into this particular property uh, a number of sort of, I want to say it was like a year ago or so. Um, I had no intention of buying it, but I love looking at real estate, what you can buy in different markets. And I remember this being on sale uh, for a particular amount of time. So completely random, but very, very cool. Uh, definitely go check out this video. And he has another video on top of it, everything wrong with this crazy old old farmstead. Definitely check it out, guys. Very interesting video from Hoovy's Garage. I think you'll all really enjoy it. And uh, kudos to him for buying a crazy new homestead. Next up, guys, video from Stradman. Uh, so I can't tell you what it is because I feel like the video just came out like an hour ago. I don't want to steal the thunder from him there. Uh, but the video is, I finally bought the Stradale, my new supercar. Um, now, I will say one thing. It is not the Stradale you all are thinking of. The sort of the reason why he has the moniker he does. He didn't buy that Stradale, um, but he did buy another Stradale. So if you were excited about him having something with Strad in the name, you got your wish. Uh, very limited car. I, I can say that at least. But if you want to see it yourself, make sure to go check it out. The only reason why I'm not revealing it is because the video is brand new and I don't like to do that when it hasn't had a chance to be out there a little bit sooner. Anyway, go check it out, guys. Very cool video from Stradman. Congrats on yet another supercar. Seems like one a month. And finally, guys, an extraordinarily entertaining race from Car Wow. Per usual, when do they not have incredible races going on? The video is 1,000 horsepower all wheel drive Honda versus one of my favorite cars ever. Porsche 918 Spider. Um, I'll say this, uh, the Porsche 918 does what you would think it would do, uh, but the 1,000 horsepower Honda puts up an incredible performance. Uh, make sure to go check it out, guys. Carwell has some of the most interesting drag races really anywhere on the planet, and I think you guys will really like this one. Uh, it's just entertaining, what can I say? Go check it out. And finally, guys, uh, I guess the last thing I wanna talk about today is 
I did something amazing to my Audi R8. We put in a brand new Voodoo exhaust, the center exit exhaust for my R8. If you want to check it out, it's over on my Instagram right now with a beautiful cinematic montage courtesy of me. I rarely get a chance to do it, but I think you guys will really enjoy it. I think it looks incredible. It sounds amazing. And we're going to have an entire YouTube video on that very soon here. Actually, more than one. Uh, but if you want to see what it looks like when I finally modified my 2023 R8, you have your wish. It's on my Instagram account right now. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. We'll see you guys again very soon. That's all I got. Bye.